Hello, hello, everybody. I'm Ethan, and I'm going to be doing the reading for today's Sunday service. The reading can be found in Mark chapter 6, verse 1 to 13. <clears throat> Jesus went away from there and came to his own country and hometown, Nazareth, and his disciples followed with him. And on the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who listened to him were utterly astonished, saying, Where did this man acquire all this? What is the wisdom, the broad and full intelligence, which has been given to him? What mighty works and exhibitions of power are wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary and the brother of James, and Joseph and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here among us? And they took offense at him and were hurt. That is, they disapproved of him and it hindered them from acknowledging his authority. And they were caused to stumble and fall. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own country and among his relatives and in his own house. And he was not able to do even one work of power there, except that he laid his hand on a few sickly people and cured them. And he marveled because of their unbelief, their lack of faith in him. And he went about among the surrounding villages and continued teaching. And he called to him the twelve apostles and began to send them out as his ambassadors two by two, and gave them authority and power over the unclean spirits. He charged them to take nothing for their journey except a walking stick, no bread, no wallet for a collection bag, no money in their belts, but to go with sandals on their feet and not to put on tunics, which are undergarments. And he told them, wherever you go into a house, stay there until you leave that place. And if any community will not receive and accept and welcome you, and they refuse to listen to you when you depart, shake off the dust that is on your feet for a testimony against them. Truly, I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the judgment day than for that town. So they went out and preached that men should repent, that they should change their minds for the better and heartily amend their ways with adherence of their past sins. And they drove out many unclean spirits and anointed with them with oil many who were sick and cured them. This is the reading, Mark 6, verse 1 to 13. Now, I think this is a truly beautiful scripture right here. I think verse 11 especially stood out for me. It reads... If any community will not receive and accept and welcome you and they refuse to listen to you, when you depart, shake off the dust that is on your feet for a testimony against them. You see, it stands out for me because I think we often receive rejection from people in our lives and we often don't know how to accept that. But God tells us in his word, how we should do that. We should get up, dust ourselves off, and move on. And personally, I need to remember that a lot of the time. Because often when I face rejection, I get nervous and confused. But going forward, if I remind myself in the future what to do with rejection, which is get up, dust myself off, and move on, I will be able to move on. And do what Jesus intended I do. Because I will. Because that is what happens in the story. Jesus sends his disciples out into the world to go spread the awesome news of Jesus. But he knew that there would be people that won't accept and receive what his disciples have to say. And he made sure by his words that he prepared them for that. So that their journey can go on. And that's what today's lesson is, preparing you for the chance that somebody doesn't accept you 
or receive the message you try to give them. Even with it being a message that could change their lives, you can get up, dust yourself off and move on. Because God's plans for you are glorious.